So graphene is, is a really fast changing field. There's things happening in it all of the time. And I'm trying to constantly look at it to find a methodology that is easy, scalable, cheap, uh, environmentally friendly, and something that you can do basically in your home kitchen if you want to. Now, um, this is from the latest paper that was given to me by, as a heads up from some of my friends. He said, hey, have you seen this paper? And as it happens, I haven't really seen it, so I've been having a look at it over the past week or so. And um, it's stunning in its simplicity, and it's um, quite interesting in that it brings together two bits of work that I've been working on, and, and it seemed uh, almost fortuitous because it's actually to do with using graphite and soap, putting them together to make graphene. Now, how about that? I mean, uh, these are things I've been working on for ages, so let's give it a go. Now the paper it's based on is called um, Scalable Production of Large Quantities of Defect-Free Few Layer Graphene uh, by Sheer Exfoliation in Liquids. And I'll pop that title up so that you can hunt the paper out if you want to have a look at it yourself. Now these guys uh, went off and used some industrial machinery to do this, but as part of what they were looking at, they also went off and bought themselves a Kenwood blender. And, and that's what we've got here really, is just a household blender. Now in here is 50 grams of uh, micronized graphite powder. The micronized graphite powder is uh, 5 microns or less, but you can use up to 350 micron graphite powder. And you can vary it between sort of 20 grams per litre and 100 grams per litre. I've just chosen 50 grams per litre. And all you actually do with it is stick it in your blender with your water, deionized water, and add some soap. Now the guys themselves use fairy liquid, and I'm going to use my echo foam because of course I make this stuff, and this is particularly good for cleaning up graphite, so it should be particularly good for dispersing, dissolving graphite. Now the ratio that you want is um, 8, so the ratio of um, soap to graphite is uh, eight. So if you have eight grams of graphite, you want one gram of um, your soap. Now I've got uh, 50 grams of graphite, so 6.25 grams of soap in there. And all you then do is pop on the lid and blend it. And you blend it for somewhere between uh, 20 minutes and 75 minutes. Now it's going to um, exfoliate better the longer you blend it. It'll be slightly better the uh, more liquid you've got in there in proportion to the graphite. Now because it's a foaming soap, it is going to foam as you blend it. Now it doesn't have a particularly good yield on the first run through, so what you do is blend it for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, leave it to settle, pour it off, pour in some more water, and you reuse the sediment. And the more you reuse the sediment, the better of, uh, a yield you're going to be able to get from it. So all I'm going to do with this now is blend it. Okay, so it's going to want to foam, and it's going to want to foam like mad. Now, a good way of killing the foam is to add some of this stuff, which is isopropyl alcohol. So there's a litre in there, add 250 millilitres of isopropyl alcohol, and that will kill the foam right down there. Now, <coughs> in the original experiment, they used something called sodium cholate, or cholate, and that's a bile salt. It's a bile salt surfactant. It's from oxbile, actually. So you can buy oxbile tablets. I guess you could give those a go if you wanted to. Uh, it just seemed that using <coughs> the soap that I've got is uh, a, a good solution, obviously, because I make the soap. But it's going quite well. It's had about 10 minutes. Uh, as I say, I've added some isopropyl alcohol to kill the foaming down a bit, and I'm going to continue on for another 10 minutes. <coughs> Okay, so once you've um, given it its 20 minutes or 75 minutes or however long you want to give it, pour it out. It's actually dispersed amazingly well, actually, and there it is. There is our stock solution of graphene. Now, the way they separated that out was to, um, kind of spilt it everywhere so I'm able to clean it up, but the way they separated that out was to centrifuge it. We obviously can't centrifuge it, so all I'm going to do is leave it sitting for a few days and let it separate all by itself. So there it is all finished up, and that is our graphene in solution. Now, 
I used um, the echo foam to do that, but they used fairy liquid in the original patent to dry it out, and that worked apparently really well for them. Um, the main thing that they used was sodium cholate or cholate, uh, which is the bile salt, where bile salt surfactant. And essentially, it's um, 500 millilitres of water, somewhere between 10 and 50 grams of um, graphite, depending on how long you want to process it for and how many times you want to repeat process it. Uh, a 1 to 8 ratio of um, surfactant to graphite, so for 1 gram of surfactant, 8 grams of graphite. And um, I changed it slightly by adding a 1 to 4 ratio of isopropanol alcohol, and that was to help it defoam, so that it didn't um, spread foam absolutely everywhere. But if you don't defoam it, then it froths them like mad. And you um, blend it at a high speed for somewhere between uh, 20 and 75 minutes. Uh, again, depending on how long you want to process it. Now, it does go up in temperature as you uh, blend it. So if you blend it for 75 minutes, it's actually going to get quite near boiling point. So um, you need some way really that you're going to do that long to keep it cool. If you don't want to do it that long, then you're going to have to repeat it a number of times by um, letting it settle out. And you let it settle out over a few days so that you get different flake sizes in your graphene solution. Uh, once you've got it in different flake sizes, obviously you can pour off the supernatants and keep the graphene, and you can then redisperse that in, in pretty much any um, solvent you want to disperse it in, whether it's uh, water, NMP, DMF, something like that. Uh, but there you go, a really easy and uh, green and safe way of making um, tons and tons of graphene for uh, various processes. Uh, whether you're going to uh, reinforce plastics with it. Um, in the original paper, they actually made um, transparent films with it, con transparent conductive films, just by um, vacuum filtration. Uh, you can add it to an ink, which is obviously what I do with it, uh, and you can add it to plastics to give you conductive or strong plastics. So I hope that was of interest to you, and um, thank you very much for watching. Oh, by the way, I'm a bit, um, a bit ill at the moment, hence the hoarse voice. But again, thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful.